The Korean conflict began in 1950 when the North invaded the South. U.S. troops stepped up. Tens of thousands of American soldiers died during the three-year war. For those who survived, many memories remain. Burnt up. <laughs> I left a lot of friends over there. Decades ago, Korean War veterans did not receive much of a welcome home. They are now getting their due thanks to Badger Honor Flight. The group's mission is to serve veterans by taking them on a whirlwind trip to Washington, D.C. to see the memorials built in their honor. It's a small way to thank them for the sacrifices that they made when they answered the call of duty for this great nation. As our living veterans continue to age, Badger Honor Flight is focused on making sure any remaining World War II veterans have the chance to visit our nation's capital. However, the group's focus has shifted to serve the veterans of the Korean War, making sure they're not overlooked. The Korean War is considered basically the, 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 the forgotten war. Not much has ever been done for them. Just a little tingling, and I couldn't sleep all night. I'm, I'm, I need, I really need a nap. <laughs> I'm really tickled. I, I was honored to be named as one of them to go, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait. Just can't wait. The send-off is impressive at this early hour. Well-wishers, who in many cases don't know any of the veterans, have arrived even earlier to show their respect and appreciation. The veterans arrive at the point of no return. This is really happening. As the heroes file through the airport, plenty of support is on hand. I'm a veteran myself, and anytime I can honor my Comrades, it's a great opportunity and a great opportunity for the scouts to see and assist and enjoy the experience. The capabilities of each veteran are taken into consideration. Wheelchairs are available and a medical staff is on hand for whatever needs might arise. It's just in case of emergency, so we need to have some first responders there to make sure that everybody's healthy. The registration and boarding process is smooth and moving veterans through security lines at Dane County Regional Airport is not necessary. Aboard the airplane, the smiling faces and a patriotic atmosphere greet the service men and women. The chartered flight is decorated and the flight crew gets into the spirit of the celebration. Definitely brings a lot of festivity on board and really you can just see the joy in everybody's faces. Even before they arrive in DC, the veterans find the journey rewarding. For them, it's an acknowledgement that their service and sacrifice is not forgotten. When I came back from the Korean War, it was like, well, you, where were you, on vacation? You know, what happened to you? It didn't matter. People didn't even relate to the war. So, this is it. Several hours later, there is an even larger greeting in Washington. Some have made it a point to be here. Many others stop for a few moments on their way through the terminal to thank the soldiers for their service. We heard it on the PA and we had to run over here just to see them. And it's an honor to be able to see them. The pomp and circumstance comes as a surprise and leaves the veterans overwhelmed with emotion. The singing, clapping, and picture taking doesn't stop until each and every veteran is off the plane. Wonderful. <laughs> Can't describe it. Wow. <laughs> Tremendous. <laughs> I never expected this. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Just overabundance, <laughs> but really appreciation. <laughs> A police escort guides the busloads of heroes to their destinations. 
Motorcycle riders with Rolling Thunder and the American Legion lead the first leg of the trip. They did their job and they weren't expecting any, any favors, they just served their country. And we wanted to serve them, that's all. For this flight, stops are made at Arlington National Cemetery, the Iwo Jima Memorial, and the Tomb of the Unknowns. The great men in this country, and that's we lost. <clears throat> it's hard. As the emotion builds, it's on to the memorial parks. For many veterans on the trip, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see the national monuments standing in their honor. As they reflect on their service, memories come flooding back. I did see some horrible things. One time I was in the mess tent and uh, trying to get back to my bunker and rounds started coming in and I had to hit the dirt and then I crawled over into the bunker. The trip consists mainly of participants in the Korean conflict and the Second World War. But besides visiting their particular sites, they stop to pay tribute at the monuments of their brother and sister veterans. Along the way, America's youngest generation takes note of the veterans. Children pause for a moment to say thank you. It's just great to see what our country has done in the past and hopefully our future is as bright as what our su successes have been in the past. The past remains fresh at the final stop on the tour. Veterans set their eyes on the Korean War Memorial. 19 stainless steel statues by Frank Gaylord dramatically depict U.S. servicemen in the Korean conflict. A first look at the haunting figures provides some closure but leaves a lasting impression on the veterans. Home. <laughs> Hate to say that, but home. And I made lots of trips to the front line to repair radios. I was in a dangerous place, no two ways about it, but made it through it. It's just a memory, to memorize it. You, don't, you can't memorize them, <laughs> but you gotta think about them. Anybody that was in Korea ought to be here. Even those Korean War veterans who served in other countries get choked up at the sight of this memorial. A memorial honoring our nation's sons and daughters who answered the call to defend a country they never knew and a people they never met. It looks almost real. I mean, when I saw these radio operators, uh, I saw myself. We had, we, had, we had our problems there. There were some riots going on, but nothing like they had in Korea. Uh, I give all the credit to those boys. By the time the chartered flight is boarded for the trip home, honorees and guardians alike are weary, but a certain light remains on everyone's faces. Sound off. Can we call out your name? Raise your hand. Say here. We'll get you your mail. Raymond Cullen. While at war, Two important words signaled a soldier's most important part of the day, mail call. In a time before computers, cell phones, and almost instantaneous communication, these letters and postcards were the solitary, tangible link to home. I got so many, I don't want to lose them here. I have to wait till I get them home. A dear veteran, my name is Brett. I would like to say hi. Hi, yeah. I would also like to thank you for serving our country during the you are very brave. Oh, you should see me now. This is my great granddaughter. She wrote a picture that's American flag up there. Her and her little brother down in the corners. It's really neat. It, it really is. One of my kids sent that. The only picture you could find with uh, me in my uniform. That's my wife and I when we got married. Nice letters from nice friends. Little kids from school. That was great. That was really great. What a surprise. For everybody I know, I got a note from. You always were looking forward to a mail. The celebrations during the trip's departure and at the arrival in Washington were impressive. 
but the final return home eclipses them both. We're going to hoot and holler and give them the biggest cheer we can and give them hugs and kisses after we can see them. There are thousands of people here, from recognizable friends and family to faces unknown. This is most certainly the Day of the Veteran, and for some who felt it was decades late, and for others who had not realized they needed closure, it is a homecoming like no other. I never thought I'd have this whole gang gathering here. Well, because I got the greatest family in the world, but you know, a lot, a lot of them are pretty busy. Like this beautiful girl, she's in college. She comes all the way from Milwaukee here to see Grandpa. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. Always. I would never expected anything like this. I'm ready to go again. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. They came here just to see us. That's something, isn't it? The veterans and their guardians parade down the aisle, showered with hugs, kisses, backpats, and cheers. It's their final march in a war fought long ago. It's our honor and our duty to uphold them for the sacrifices they made and ensure their heroic service will never be forgotten.